Good morning. Uh, my name is Anthony Manyara. I'm the CEO of Youth Advocacy Africa and also a student leader in Kuso and the immediate former chairman of the University of Nairobi. I would like first of all to uh, just echo the words of the president that there has been a lot of issues happening in the country. There has been a lot of division. There has been a lot of uh, divisive politics. And uh, we'd like to give just a, a few statements as student leaders in the country because we believe students are, the, uh, are like the torch bearers in this country. <clears throat> as the umbrella body representing all the university students across Kenya, we gather here today to condemn the emerging and most alarming trend of falsity and the death of verbal hygiene in Kenya's political rhetoric. Most notorious and ringleaders of the Matusi Brigade are Elgeo Maraguet, Senator Onesmas Kiptumba Markomen, Gatundu South Member of Parliament Moses Kuria, and Kandara Member of Parliament Alice Mudon Wahome. We would like to give them a stern warning. We would like to warn those uh, leaders in this country that the presidency is a symbol of national unity and our president is voted by all voters in the entire country, not just uh, one constituency. Sisi kama wanafuzi tunataka kusema ya kwamba, hiyo maneno hatuta kubali, na tunasimama na president, tunasimama na those offices that are voted and formed by, the popul by popular uh, vote, that they should be respected as national offices. When it all began a few years ago, Kenyans must have thought it was a passing cloud, a passing fan. Some even entertained it as some form of comical relief. But alas, there was just, that was just the beginning of a terrible and despicable phase of politics awash with caustic vulgarities. What is worse is that the perpetrators of Kenyans' political false speak are persons we young, we young Kenyans ought to look up to as mentors and role models. We young and upcoming Kenyan leaders have waited for the restoration of sanity in the manner some of the politicians speak, but have given up. Well, just to uh, wrap up what I've just said is that young people look up to politicians in this country. When a, when a leader is elected, he or she becomes a role model to young people in the universities, secondary schools, and also primary schools, and even the younger generation. Well, those leaders today, unapata Moses Kuri ya kipewa mic hivi tu ni kuongea mambo enye. You cannot even imagine. Where are we heading as a country? As Kuso, we will not condone that. And we are telling those leaders, we are watching them. We are the ones we can tell the, the voters, we can be able to advise them on what kind of leaders are best suited to represent them. Well, I will hand over to my colleague to also comment on, on the, the solutions we have made. Welcome, Ayoma. The University of Nairobi, and I'm also a women leader in my capacity. And on this statement, first of all, I want to state that we as women of this nation, as young women, as future, to, as future leaders, we are not impressed by the state and the affairs that are happening. <laughs> and most importantly, on the part of women. Because as women, we are the people who should recollect these issues together, reason on a sober mind, and give the right things to our people. So I want to give the statement on the same. And politics, I want to say that politics is a contest of ideas. It is not a matter of insults or locker room or dark humor. So if the conduct of politics fails to deliver the desired change in favor of the quality of people's lives, then we are saying that it is completely worthless. And I want to proceed and say that the politics of loose or dirty talk and vile invectives is for the vicious. It belongs to the bane of ignoble men and women 
who lack in character and depth. And we are saying as young people that the last we want is to be socialized, let alone be marooned in a disreputable din of lewd, reprobate and immodest political haranguising by masters of gutter politicking and cesspit talk. And we are saying, we implore among those politicians and whoever is wallowing political sewerage to take a bath now. And it's now and the time has come. And we as youths, we are saying we are not happy. And may you set the right pace for this country. May you set the right direction because you are the politicians and be sure we are watching from wherever we are seated as youths, as university students, we are watching and we are the majority, we are reminding you. So take care. Thank you. As the president of this organization, I would like to conclude that let us maintain peace, peace, peace and peace because number one, those from different political parties tend to provoke the rest, and then that's how the insults begin. So we urge, if you're from ODM, you're from Jubilee, you're from Tanga Tanga, we do not want to know as young people in this country. All we want to see is this country moving forward. So we want to urge all those political parties to stop provoking each other. Yes? They should stop provoking each other because for one thing we are sure of is we only have how many days left um, uh, till 2021? We only have three, 300 and? 60. No, no, no. 60. 360 days, le no, 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 50. minus. Roughly 345 days left to work because we know 2021 is going to be politics, 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 whether referendum or whatever. 2022 will be elections. 2023 will be handshake again. So we do not have enough time to make money. Don't distract us. We want to make money. We want to move forward. We want to, to, to make this country move forward. Therefore, we urge all these political uh, parties to stop uh, provoking each other. Number two is that if women leaders tell us to look up to them and they are uttering despicable words, they are uttering words that we cannot tolerate. How do we look up to them? So when you tell me, support Alice Wahome, when, for instance, uh, my, 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 my MP from Embakasi East tweeted that he will shave, he will shave all the hairs of Alice, uh, Honorable Alice Wahome. How do you expect me to, to be in support of a women leader when she's also provoking the president and talking bad about the president? We cannot allow. I think right now, huh? Yes, to Nasewa and your lewe. You go this to Namia and your lewe and your lewe, because Ababu Hata and Anonga Vibaya Kusu raise Wai Inchi. Number two is that even if we have different, um, uh, we are, we are, we differ ideolo ideologically, I mean, we have different ideologies politically, we should not, we should not go to the extent of of speaking, uh, of, of, of abusing the president of this Republic of Kenya because you know the powers of this president. Number two is that whether you are from ODM or Jubilee, you cannot talk bad about Baba. Baba will always remain Baba. So please let us respect our executive uh, leaders, the deputy president, the president himself, people like Moses Kuria and uh, uh, Kipchuma Murkamen, you have a great potential. We know your history. We, we know... We know that you are, you are active politically, but please give us time. Give us time so that we can read in peace. Give us time so that those with small businesses can do business. And it's good that Moses Kiria has stopped uh, drinking alcohol because now that was the one which was affecting him much more. Thank you very much and God bless you. Uh, members of the fourth estate, if you have questions, please three questions. Uh, only three. Yes, thank you, sir. That uh, Raila is a, is a witch. That Uhuru is a drunk. That uh, when, and when the rest of the uh, ODM members or whatever say that uh, William Ruto is a, is a thief, now they start causing destruction in this country. We want all those kind of utterances to stop. We are not in support of Tanga Tanga or ODM or any other part. 
but we want them to create peace in this country. So they should stop uttering such kind of words. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.